good afternoon. I'm Battalion Chief Aaron with Camden County Fire Rescue. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us today for our pushing ceremony here at Station 11 in Woodbine, Georgia. I'm going to explain to y'all how we get to this process. It's not as easy as running down to your local dealership and purchase a new engine. Uh, this process normally takes about two years to complete uh, from the time you purchase the truck to the time you take delivery. Um, in a perfect world, it's about a year, but this day and time we've been looking at close to two years before we take delivery of our apparatus. Uh, the way we come to replacing our truck is we're on a 10 year uh, replacement plan that's been put together by Mr. Boatwright, uh, the Camden County Board of Commissioners and uh, Chief Smith. Um, that 10 year plan, once you replace the old apparatus, doesn't necessarily mean that that apparatus is gone forever. It goes into reserve status and then the truck that is in reserve status prior to that one will be gone. It'll go to surplus or they'll uh, auction it off at the county auction. Hey, how you doing? I'm Robert Keefe with Camden County Fire Rescue. Um, I'm a firefighter EMT here and I've been here for about two years. Uh, prior to this, I was in the Navy for about 20 years. I retired as a Navy Chief of Submarines uh, and I've been enjoying things here as I've been here for the last two years. Um, as you can see, we've just completed our push-in ceremony. Uh, which dates back to the 1800s whenever we had the Bucker Brigade and we had horse-drawn equipment. So back in those days, they would, after a fire, they would basically pull the wagon back up to the bay and detach the horses so they can go back to their stables, clean the equipment, and we would push the uh, fire-drawn equipment back into the bay. Uh, so that is a ceremonial thing we do when we get new apparatuses here at the fire departments. Uh, if you don't mind, now I'm going to go ahead and show you the Engine 11 compartment. We're going to move in here and talk about some of the stuff that we have in our seating area. Hey, uh, now that we're in the cab, I just kind of want to go over some stuff we have here on the truck. Um, as you can see, uh, the truck can seat five uh, firefighters, radio, communications. We have a PA system here we can speak outside of the truck with. Um, different lighting uh, switches here to uh, give us options between emergency lighting, flood lighting, and uh, warning lights. Uh, if you come down here, this is our siren panel, so this goes along with our sirens different horn uh, mechanisms that we may have. This is our pump actuator here. So this is basically where we go through and put the vehicle in pump so that we could uh, pump water and get ready to take water on or discharge water from there. Okay, as we transition up here to the pump panel, you're gonna notice we have some green lighting on the side. Uh, those lights are actually indicator for our water levels and they flash green uh, whenever the truck's in park to let the operator know what our water levels are as well as changing uh, to amber color whenever we're driving. That way it doesn't distract any kind of passer buyers. As you come up here, you're gonna notice a bunch of gauges. There's a lot of gauge clusters here. Each one of those gauges correlate with one of these individual valves that operate something on the side of the truck or one of these pre-connect hose lines that we have here. And moving further to the left over here, you're gonna see that we have our foam uh, instrument cluster that's gonna allow us to see our foam mixture and our foam levels. Again, this truck does carry 30 gallons of foam and 1,000 gallons of water, okay? Which leads me to my last thing here is our master stream, or we call it a deck gun. Uh, this actually will discharge at a rate of 1,000 gallons per minute. So if we do not have a already uh, established water source, we will deplete our entire truck water source of water within one minute of use. Uh, so we gotta make sure we have some other water coming in from a hydrant or another apparatus when we utilize it. Thank you all for coming and participating. I'd also like to thank Chief Smith, uh, Mr. Boatwright, and the Camden County Commissioners for allowing this to take place.